If we wanted to add stitches to the clothing on this little elf character, we could create a custom image map and apply it where we want it to be applied, or we could go in and use procedural textures. Uh, if we're going to use procedural textures, we need to find a way to kind of mask off the areas that we want to work with. So we'll use a weight map to do that. So on this character, let's add stitches, um, let's say right in this area. So I'm going to go to texture wire so I can see what I'm selecting and let's just select some points. Now it's selecting them on both sides because I've got symmetry turned on down here. But actually just to make sure that we're getting everything that we want, let's grab this belt, cut, we'll paste it back in a second, come back over to point mode and just select the, the points that we need on here. Okay, we'll come back and paste that belt we can see that switching back over to point mode, we still have those points selected. So I'm going to move to, from texture wire, I'm going to go to weight shade, and let's create a new weight map. So uh, W, new, and we'll call this stitch. And for initial value, make sure that's turned off. We don't want a, a value just yet. We'll just have everything be zero. Create, okay, and it puts it down here, stitch come back over to my point selection, move over to the map tab, and under set map value, let's set it to 100%. So I'm saying that the points that I had selected will be, will have a weight value of 100, while everything else will have a weight value of zero. Okay, we'll save that out. Let's move over to layout. So I'm gonna send the object over to layout. Shift C for camera, six for camera view, Y for rotate, T for move, and we're just kind of moving in to the area that we want to see, which will be either side um, because we had symmetry on, but we'll, we'll look at this side because it's already in the light. And I'm going to open up uh, an F prime window just so we can see what's going on. Okay, and we can even zoom in closer. Okay, so we're going to use this area uh, to put a texture on. Uh, we'll go over to the surface editor, pick um, we'll use Elf Tunic, that's the surface name for this. Open up the node editor. I activated the node editor down here and then I opened it up. And we need to create something that we can use as the base texture for the stitches. So I need some kind of lines going through the surface. So one thing that comes to mind is to come over to 3D textures and choose, um, we'll go 3D textures and choose marble. Okay, that'll get us some, some lines. Now, they're kind of wavy lines, and I'll need to change that. Um, but first, let me double click, and for background color, let's pick um, a green color to kind of match this. And for the foreground color, let's pick white. We'll do white stitches, even though we can do any color we want, but just so we can see it, it'll be nice and vibrant. Okay, so before we make any other changes, let's just plug that in to color. And it doesn't really look like lines. Uh, part of it could be just because of the, the scale. And of course there's distortion here. I'm gonna change that to zero distortion. And um, let's see if we change the vein spacing. It's actually kind of small, but let's make it smaller. So I'll try 0.05. Okay, we've, we've got some, some lines, but instead of going down the X, let's do Y. Okay, so we've got, we've got our lines, but we, let's make them a little smaller, 0.01. Okay, those are pretty small. Uh, and let's adjust the contrast. Right now it's set to zero. I like extremes. So we'll do 100 and we can always go back. Yep, there we go, a hard, crisp line. But now this is going everywhere and we just want it, we want to make stitches, we just want it down that seam. So we'll take advantage of that weight map. I'll close this, move this over. And for add node, vertex map, weight map. And let's double click to choose stitch. Close that down, put the value into opacity to control the opacity, and you can already see there's our stitches. They're kind of blurry. Uh, they're, they're tight in the center and then they fade out. That's because that, that weight map value is saying 100% at those points and then they fade to the next row of points. Well, what we can do is add a gradient in between weight, the weight map node, and marble for further control of that weight map because the weight map is just a gradient anyway so we'll just uh, we'll do that so add node we'll go to gradient 
and add a gradient. We'll plug the weight map into the input of the gradient and we'll plug the color into the opacity. Okay, and right now we don't get anything. And that's because if we look at our gradient, we'll see that it's all black here. And I need to add some white so that we can actually see through. So for this node, I'm going to choose white. Okay, and we start to see it again. I'm going to bring this down. Let's set the position to 1, which is 100%. And for this um, key, the black key, I'm going to change the type to step. Okay. And then I'm just going to move up this key a little bit. And there we go. We've got our stitches. Let's, um, let's zoom in and take a look. So now we've got stitches just where we want them. Okay. Let me zoom back out so you can see. So we've got this nice little trail. If you want the stitches to be tight smaller, all we have to do is go back to the marble texture here, adjust the vein spacing, if you want them to be wider this way, we can adjust the gradient a little bit um, to make them a little thicker. If we want to change the color, we can always change the foreground color. And we can make them yellow if we'd like. There we go. Some yellow stitches there. Uh, but let's put it back to white. They show up a little bit better there. Okay, so there we go. A quick way to add stitches to a surface using procedural textures. And we're taking advantage of the weight map kind of as a mask to just limit it to this area. So we'll get a, a nice close-up view right here, and I'll move this over just so we can see uh, the final result of the weight map driving the gradient, which is driving the opacity, which is being fed into the color, and we get these nice stitches down our, our character side.